Hello my fellow engineers, today's episode will be mainly focused on preparations for the next episode, where our aim will be to build ourselves a first functional space explorer. Now, to be able to refine some of the needed resources, we have to improve our current base. This means more power supply, a decent battery, a better refiner and assembler, and while we're at it, a med bay. Now, this in turn requires quite some resources, and the miner we currently have could use some improvements as well. Before I do that, however, I'm going to use my current miner to collect a few loads of stone, which then can be refined and used to improve the miner. And that is what I will be doing right now. As explained in the previous guide, the top layers of terrain won't provide us with much stone. So let us clear away the soil and the dirt until we hit bedrock. Once there, we can start mining the stone. To speed this guide up, I will skip ahead most of the mining, as you should already know how this works. So, once I collected enough stone, I will be back with you. Alright, after 5 loads of stone, I think we should be pretty set for our first improvements. I would like to begin by adding more wind turbines to the base, so we can have more reserve power and can recharge our batteries quicker. On this pylon, I would like to build 2 more turbines, and I would like to build another pylon on this side for additional wind turbines. It is always recommended to leave a space for about 8 cubes between pylons to have a more efficient power supply, as they otherwise block the wind. On the second pylon, I will already prepare some blocks just in case I would like to add more turbines in the future. With three extra turbines, we should be pretty much set for now. Let us now focus on the miner. The first thing I would like to do is simply add four more engines, at least for now. Two backwards thrusters on the cockpit, so if I mine straight down, the miner can hold its weight up a little bit longer. And two more lifting thrusters, so once we have leveled our miner, we can lift all the weight in the cargo container. As you already should know by now how to add parts to the build planner, I will just jump straight ahead to welding up the thrusters. Once the thrusters are welded up, we can now hop into the cockpit and reconfigure the controls. Go into our inventory control panel, and then if we go here and we click the minor thruster group, you will see that is where we have all our thrusters. These are the ones we had in the group, and you can see the ones that are not selected. These are the ones that we just added. And if you click on that, you can see also that they are enabled. So we're going to check for the ones that we need to disable. There we go. So now all the thrusters should be disabled. Let's now select the group and then press control and then select each of the atmospheric thrusters separately and then also press the button here save that is going to make them now one group so if i now select this group you can see that each of these are now in the same group with that now all the engines are connected to the same button on your control panel and you can now disable and enable when it's necessary all right with that all done i will now have to do more mining i will have to collect some iron from the nearby deposit we found last time and it also will collect more stone, so we can be sure we have more nickel as well, as I will need quite a lot when I want to build my batteries. Now, this will take some time, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly there, I'm going to show you how the iron deposit looks like when you mine it, and then we're just going to skip ahead to the point where I mined everything I needed. Now, as you can see, this is where we need to be. If you look for iron, this is the red one. Let me just change my cockpit uh, like this. This red here, that is how you recognize iron deposits. So I'm going to mine this, I'm going to mine some more stone, and I will be back with you once I'm done with that. The extra thrusters on the miner are definitely straining my battery. As you can see, it sometimes peaks at 100%. So the next step will be adding an additional battery. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on a battery that is going to add a little bit more power. As you can see, I'm almost drained there. We're also going to build a battery on the base, which is probably going to go underneath there, underneath the pylon. So... Let's uh, find our battery. We're going to take that one, slide it in here. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put this one here in production. So I'm just going to snap it here and I'm going to put this in production by just going to the back of the miner. And just put this in production through the little access port there. So this should now be put in production. Let's go back to our grinder and grind away this light. So now we can prepare for that battery. The next thing we want to do, we all build another battery there as well, where this one goes. So what I want to do, I want to build a cube right in this corner here, so that I can grind away this one. That is going to allow me, this is going to keep supporting this pylon, because if I would uh, grind this away here, 
this would collapse. So now this is holding up. We're going to be able to build a battery here. So once again, we're going to open up our build planner, clear it. And let's now put it also in production. And then place it under that pylon. I'm going to have to rotate it with the uh, sign up like that. All right, while the rest is in production, let's jump into our cockpit. Go to our batteries. So we should have uh, this one here. This is on recharge. Battery 2 is on auto. Let's just put this one on recharge as well. So both of these are now on recharge. And we also want to put both of them in a group. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one. These two are part of my ship. Uh, you can see the difference because the yellow means or orange means it's not directly connected to your ship or the base you are going to into the inventory. Uh, this one red here is incomplete. That's the large one that we still need to weld up. So the two white batteries are the ones connected to the ship we are in right now. So we're going to take the two batteries and we're going to group them as a miner. Battery. And maybe we call it batteries just to be safe. There we go. So now we should have both of these and you can see both of them on the recharge. Now we go to our toolbar. We're going to remove this one here because that's only one battery. So let's remove from toolbar. Go to your group. Select the group batteries drag it into that slot and now select recharge on and off and that is now going to now allow you to disable or recharge or uh, charge your ship's batteries all right with that done we can now jump out and we can now continue with building the uh, battery here we need like one more battery and this one is done that means that we can actually already grind away these pillars here as now the battery is supporting the pylon there we go now, what we could do, we could put this one on the recharge, but what I want to do is actually get this now drained into that battery there so we can continue to do some mining. So one more thing I want to do is add two more thrusters here. So I want to remove this one and add two thrusters on the side and then add two thrusters on the top as well. So I'm going to grind this one away. Like that. And we're going to build... One thruster on the side here. I'm going to build one thruster on the side here. And we're going to build two thrusters on top. One to the left. And one to the right. So now this is completely set up for a much easier uh, control. So let's just weld everything up. Let's uh, also add some light. Because as you could see it didn't have that much light. So the first thing I want to do is go to our third toolbar. Let's select light and we're going to add the uh, spotlight. Now I can just take the spotlight here. Like that. Put one here. And then we also want to add these ones here. So if I scroll my mouse, you can see I can switch between different kind of lights. So I'm going to put this interior light and we're going to place a few on the side. I'm going to place one here. I'm going to place one on the back. So let's build one here as well. And we could also build another one on the bottom so we also see what is going on when we are kind of on the ground like that. So now let's clear our build planner which is already done. Let's now put all of these into our build planner and then put them all in production or withdraw what we have. There we go. So now everything has been added, thrusters and lights. Let's just jump into it and make sure that our thrusters are uh, fixed again. So let's go to inventory, control panel, press thrusters. You can see which one have been added. So we need to make sure that these are disabled. Let's see, do we have anything on the bottom? No. So let's now add all of these to the group. And save. So now all the thrusters should be disabled. Let's just double check. But they should be all disabled. There we go. Alright. So now that is all done. The plan is now to go and expand our base. We also need ice. And we also need silver. Because we want to build the med bay. Now none of this here allows us to refine silver. Because we need the industrial refiner. 
Now the industrial refiner it does need quite some resources. You can see quite some steel plates. So I think we might have to go and mine some more stuff. So I'm going to put it in here. And what I want to do is I want to build this refiner right here uh, on the corner. I'm going to take away this uh, assembler here. Um, what we have to do, of course, is go to the assembler and move everything out of it. So we're going to move everything from the assembler to the container. So now we can grind this down. There we go. I'm going to build this assembler on the back of this cargo container for the moment. Or maybe just build it here so it's out of the way straight away. So let's do that. Let's go to the assembler. Make sure that it's rotated with the connector against this connector. Like that. And now we can weld this up. Because we still will need the assembler, of course, to create our metal plating and all our resources. So we will have to build a little bit of a structure that can hold the pylon up while we build the refiner underneath that. So let's withdraw the metal plating. So one, two, three, four. Let's build a cube here. Oh, this doesn't seem to connect to this. That's not too great. So what I'm going to do, we're going to extend it to here and we're going to just bring it down i'm wondering if this is gonna work though that should work so this is gonna hold up this pylon if i now grind this away you can see the pylon is held up by the structure we can now go back to our industrial refiner and we can build it right here. We're going to have to make sure again that the connector we have here at the end. You can see there's two connectors. We need to make sure that it snaps against that. So let's make it rotating. And let's see if that makes any sense. Because I think that's okay. Like that. That should work. Now the refiner is connected. As you can see right here. So if I weld this up a bit. There we go. We can now grind away everything around it. As that is now holed up by the uh, system right here. Now that we have this one here, let's put this in our build planner. All right, let's check the production now. You can see we will need quite some iron. We still are not that it's okay we're not bad but we will need more that means we're gonna have to go and mine some more iron all right now while this is happening let's see the basic refinery is still doing his job let's just move the iron here and the stone here it seems most of the iron is going into these metal platings which is okay um we will need about another um thousand 800 I think uh, but if you look at that that should be okay once the refiner kicks off here as it is already starting to make the iron we need so you can start moving this over and now you'll see that the production is we're getting there we're getting there so now we're good as you can see so everything we needed for this refinery is going to work so that's a good thing that means that next thing we're going to do we're going to go into the mountains to get some ice as there is no lakes nearby so we have to go to the mountains to get ice but we also probably will need to wait until our batteries are recharged a little bit more. We also will dig up some silver, which is actually right here. If we go to the pit down there, there will be silver next to the gold. So we'll have to dig down and get the silver from there. And the silver is what we're going to be needing for the expansion of our med bay. That means that then later on we will be able to take away the survival kit and put a med bay. And uh, yeah, I think we're almost getting there now for uh, the expansion and getting ready for uh, episode 4 next time. There we go. Our large refiner has been built. That means that now we can actually take down this refiner as this one will take over the job. But what we also want to do is actually build an assembler later here, which is going to replace the cargo container and the refinery here. So that means we're going to have to move the car container to another location. Let me uh, let me double check something. If we jump into our ship, I want to see how my batteries are uh, holding up. Did 
this is going to take two hours. This is going to take three hours before the battery is recharged. So what I'm going to do, we're going to focus on getting three more turbines there so that we can get a little bit more power source. There we go. Now we have the, uh, that's a nice selection of engines. If I now go into my cockpit, we could see the difference. Let's see my batteries. Two hours, three hours. It could be because the battery here is also on recharge. So what I could do is go to the uh, third battery. Where's the battery? Let me just search battery. Hmm. Um, I just realized that this battery is not going to do anything as there is no connection to the base. Even this is not powering anything because there is no connection. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to build a uh, temporary block here. So the block is now going to power this whole engine here and now we will see definitely a difference. Um, I now look to my control panel. If you look at our battery, you will see that this now is going to take one hour and two hours so this definitely has reduced the amount of power it takes all right all right now while this battery is recharging i think we're gonna have to wait a little bit so once the batteries are recharged and ready to go i will be back with you all right now that the batteries are pretty okay they seem to be uh pretty full it's okay enough enough for uh, today so we're gonna look for some ice in the mountains as you can see there is some snow up there so we're gonna go and collect some ice we're also gonna go down here and we're gonna collect some silver then we start to refine all that. And then once that is done, we can then focus on the med bay, do some reorganization so we have an assembler there as well. And that is going to be the episode of today. So let me just jump into my uh, ship and let's go and get some ice. Now, if there's a lake nearby, I would say definitely go to a lake and maybe even move your base to a lake because the lakes are an amazing place to uh, quickly get your ice, even work with uh, hydrogen engines to uh, power your uh, base. I think we might be at the max. Let's see if I can get more, but I think we are maxed out. So let's jump in again and let's now go and mine some of our silver. Now to get to the silver, we're going to have to dig quite deep and that's a good thing we got some light. So let's go down. I'm going to start digging away the terrain. We don't need the stone right now. We're just going to go down. Oh, this is gold. As you can see here, the, the yellow. That means we have gold. I'm not going to mine through it. So let's see if I can mine around it. This is silver. As you can see right here, this terrain change, this color, this is silver. All right, let me uh, level up my ship. Make sure that we are uh, properly set up here. And let's start clearing the terrain around us so we can easily maneuver. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to go down. And we're going to mine some of this silver right here. Like 30,000 should be pretty okay. Let me just double check. We got 800, 1k, 3.4k. So that should be enough for the moment to uh, get what we need. All right. This means that this refinery is now going to kick off. We have now a large refinery, which is going to take the silver as well. Um, I'm going to switch this around. We're almost to our cobalt finally, which is nice. All right. So now this is all done. We're going to have to build ourselves an assembler. We also have to build ourselves a med bay. Now, what I want to do is I want to move this cargo container away from here. And I'm going to build another cargo container here so I can delete this one. And then also I'm able to remove this refinery here, which then is going to allow me to build an industrial assembler right here. Once that is done, then I can start focusing on a uh, better med bay and also a uh, connection to it. So that is going to be the plan. So first things we're going to do, we're going to build another car container and we're going to build it on the site right here for the moment. So we need to have some um, location to move our inventory to. Now we're going to move over all this to the other container. 
So this right here is the cargo container we are connected to. And on the other side, let's look for the other cargo container, which is this one right here. So now we can just move all that over to that new cargo container. And now that we have emptied it, we can now grind the cargo container away. Grinding away this container is also going to disconnect the assembler from the refinery. So be aware of that so that you either have already crafted everything you need for the assembler or that you manually have to bring parts from the refinery to the assembler. Let me see, how is this refinery? This basic refinery is done as well. So let's go back to the other cargo container, which is right here. I'm going to move... that all over there so now we can grind away this basic refinery now this is done we can now build our assembler so let's go and add the assembler let's build the assembler in here let's make sure it is connected with its ports like that all right like this let's pull it up there we go our assembler has been built the connection is now also there so it means that everything can now be withdrawn um, but this one can be taken away right now so let's go to the assembler here let's go to our um... So now we have the basic assembler and the industrial assembler. So we're going to move everything over to the industrial assembler. We're going to move this to our small car container. That means that the basic assembler cannot be taken down. There we go. So now we have an industrial refinery. We have an industrial assembler. The next thing we need to do is build ourselves the med bay. So what I'm going to do, we're going to prepare for a med bay right here. For that, we're gonna build a little bit of a platform out. Like that. I know we are in the grass, but that, that, that doesn't really matter right now. So let's just make this a bit of a bigger platform. We're gonna go to our next row line and we're gonna go and select med bay or medical room. That's what we need. And we're going to plant this medical room right here on that position. Now, if you look, we have a connection on the bottom and we have a connection on top. And that's the only way we can get um, it connected to the base. For example, if you want to refill our hydrogen, it does have to be connected to the pipeline. Otherwise, we won't be able to do that. So that means I will grind these down again, even that one down there. There we go. Because that is going to be the connection for our med bay so in here we can now go to and we're looking for the conveyor junction as you can see this one has the whole selection down there so we're just going to take that one and put them in here and we're going to look for the um, elbow so we see this is not an elbow this is a t this is the elbow we're going to place that elbow down there now we need to check how that should work so this elbow we're going to place below there Make sure that it's pointing in our direction here, like that. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to weld this one up. Alright, so this is our elbow. If you want to see more what is happening, you can also dig out the terrain. And that's possible, you can just say, you know what, I, I want to see where my pipeline is going. There we go. It might just be easier to just, you know, dig out the terrain and then just build it again like that. And now we need an elbow again. Like this. There we go. Alright, now that the pipe work has been done, we can now place the med bay on top of here. And for that we will need some medical components as well. Now, what I did here before, I want to make sure that we have the med bay ready and done before I remove the survival kit and replace it with a container. That way I always have my spawning point, because if I would now grind this one away, that means that I won't have a spawning point in case, you know, anything happens if I die. I need to have always one respawning point, which is going to be replaced by the med bay. So the med bay 
can be placed right here. We need some interior plates for that. Let's see if I can withdraw. Let's see if I can get some resources. Yes, all right. So we can start building the med bay here. Like that. Now let's see. Do I have enough... We need quite a lot of nickel, it seems. We also need 15, uh, which should be okay. We definitely have enough silver, but we might not have enough nickel. So we're going to have to do a lot more mining. So that's going to be the plan now. While this is all happening, while things are building, we're going to jump back in our ship. We're going to mine stone. We're going to drop it in there and get the refinery to make ourselves the nickel we need. And that should be enough to get this started. All right, so I'm going to do that right now, and I'll see you back when I'm done with this. There we go. So now we have a med bay. And here I can now recharge my batteries, as you can see, but I'm not recharging my hydrogen. And the reason for that is that this connector here, the bend, the bend is not connected to this base now. But we do have a respawn point. That means I can grind down the survival kit and replace this with a uh, conveyor. Uh, but in this case, we're going to build a container so we have a little bit more storage. Uh, this right here, which you see on the side, this is what allows you to actually change your character. You can go in here. And now you can adjust how you look, your colors, and all that. Uh, you can do that before you start the game as well, but this is just an addition. You can change how you look in-game. All right, now this is done. We're going to grind down this survival kit. Now, I need to double check and see if there's nothing in the survival kit. So that uh, nothing falls out. Let me see. Survival kit is completely empty. So let's grind this one down. Like that as you can see now we have a connector right here if i put a container in between that's gonna fill up this corner so i'm gonna go to the container i'm gonna snap that one in place we're just gonna have to um, withdraw some resources there we go now this container and that means now if i will connect here you will see that i'm gonna recharge both my hydrogen and my energy and that is because everything has been lined up Right, I think that's it. We got ourselves some ice. We got ourselves set up now with a whole base with an extra container, which we can delete if we want to, as we now have one on the side here. But we should be pretty okay. Look at this battery. Okay, I think we could actually uh, put this on automatically now. That way it will recharge our ship much quicker. There we go. All right. I think we are ready for next episode. The next episode, as I said, we will be focusing on building ourselves our first ship. That means we probably will have to do a lot of resource gathering again. We will also have to go and get a lot of ice. So if you want to prepare for that, you can do that. Build some extra containers. Get yourself a lot of ice. Get yourself a lot of resources so that it's going to go quicker for you as well next time we're playing this. All right, I think that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful, I would appreciate if you would hit that like button. And I want to thank you again for watching. Have an awesome day. Beeble bum out.